Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com and today we're looking at error. It says you'll need a new app to open this ms-windows-store. There's some sort of problem with your store not working. You may have removed it. You may have used one of those privacy apps for Windows 10, which uninstalls a lot of the apps. So basically you're going to need to reset or reinstall the Windows Store to make this error message go away. We're going to start this guide with what we consider to be the easier things to use and we're going to work our way into PowerShell. Of course, now if you know you use a program like ONO Shut Up or something similar that is a privacy app, you might want to check and see if you remove the Windows Store. There's a couple of them out there that break things and do not let you restore them, so you've been forewarned. First thing we want to do is try and go into resetting the Windows Store in the settings. We're going to do that by going to Start, Settings, scroll down to Apps, and then you want to find the Microsoft Store. There it is. Click on that and that will either give you sometimes an option here to reinstall. Once again, every computer is a little different and I don't know what your problem is, so this may not look exactly like yours. So just keep that in mind moving forward. Click on the advanced options and then you want to scroll down and find reset and simply follow any prompts it says and click reset again. So you'll probably have to re-sign in, etc., etc., as the warnings say. Reboot when you're done and see if it's working. Next up, let's try the Windows Store app troubleshooter. Even though it's for, it says it's for apps, it may solve your problem. So we want to get to troubleshooting, which can always be found at Start, Settings, for some reason, Update and Security, Troubleshoot. Scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store apps. Click on that. Click on Run the Troubleshooter. If it finds any problems, it will fix them and tell you it fixed them. You may need to reboot when you're done. I don't think I have any problems in here. As you can see, it's checking your registry, checking for services. In my case, it just wants me to log in first. So you may need to do this to continue. So you can do that by opening your account settings and logging into Microsoft. As you can see, I haven't done anything with this in my VMware. So once again, you may see something a little different here, but you can figure that out. It's pretty simple to do. Log in. Now we got to go into PowerShell. You're going to see a lot of weird stuff in here when it runs because some things will work and some things won't. So copy that by highlighting it, everything right down to there, right clicking and click copy. Then press Windows X and click on PowerShell. I like to run as admin by default. And Control V will paste that code in there. You'll get different error messages, a lot of red stuff going by. Everybody's going to be different. Let that thing run until it's done, as you can see. It is complete and reboot and see if that worked. Next up, we can reset the Windows Store cache. Once again, you already have PowerShell open, so leave it open. And all you have to type in here is WS reset and then press enter. Now, nothing's going to show up here. You see the cursor flashing. So just wait a minute for it to complete. And in the meantime, we'll work our way down, get ready for the next step while that's running. When it's done, it should. There you go. Our store is working. There you go. Now you may see nothing, and if nothing happens, the store doesn't pop up. That didn't work. Again, let's keep PowerShell open. Let's try and reinstall the Windows Store with PowerShell. Once again, because we're working now, we will probably get a bunch of errors again doing this, but don't let those errors scare you. Go ahead and run these steps. Once again, we're going to highlight this. We're going to right click and copy. And then we're going to open up PowerShell, and we're going to copy and paste that in and we're going to press enter as you can see it's probably a lot of error messages everything is working fine because as you just saw windows store is working and that's about it there are some other guides and tutorials as well that suggest you download some third-party apps to that allow you to remove windows apps and reinstall windows app the only problem with those apps are while they work they don't always cover all five of these steps, but they do cover some of them. So you're basically, it's redundant to download a third-party app when we're basically going to do not only what it does, but four, possibly more, steps to fix it that isn't included in any of these third-party apps. We played around with them before we wrote this article, before we did this video and found that, sure enough, they don't do anything that we don't already do here. So I won't recommend actually using apps which originally we started to write in the article so there you go and as always we managed to clear this up in just under five minutes and as always we thank you for watching click like click subscribe blah 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 and hopefully we'll see you 
next time.